wasn't even born yet, and I was in my mom's belly. She used to go to these Afro dance classes, and there was drums, loud music, and my mom's belly would go like, boom, 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 boom. And that was me inside going like, yes, yes, yes. So I think I was kind of like born dancing also. <laughs> what most excites me about Now United is that it's something that I was expecting. I knew someday I was gonna be sharing my passion with the world. But I didn't know it was gonna be so soon. So uh, growing up in Finland, I remember the best thing here was it's so safe that from first grade I could go alone to school. So yeah, always after school I would hang out with my friends, mom's at work, then she comes back because I lived um, just me and my mom. So yeah, it was always like fun girl nights with her. When you're dancing, you can be yourself or you can be whoever you want to be. I currently live in Mexico, Playa del Carmen. Paradise. It has a lot of history, a lot of culture, a lot of really interesting stuff. As I said, before I was born, like I always loved dancing, but I would say that when we moved to Mexico and I met my stepdad, everything opened up for me because I came into this whole new world, like break dance. I like, started realizing things that I could do by myself. My parents have a dance school here because they wanted me to have all the right tools and, and I get to share my passion with the people I most love. Mi papá es una persona increíble. Cuando vi cómo era con mi mamá, dije, no, pues sí. Quiero pasar el resto de mi vida con la posibilidad de llamarlos mis papás. Él cambió nuestra vida. Ay, voy a llorar. Desde que soy pequeña, siempre viví sola con mi mamá. Y, y fue difícil para mí y para ella. Tener que ser mi papá y mi mamá al mismo tiempo. Yo, yo me acuerdo que de pequeña yo le preguntaba a mis amigos, ¿cómo se siente que, que tu papá esté en tu casa? Porque yo no sabía cómo era. Cuando mi mamá se casó y empecé a tener esa vida que todos los demás tenían, todo cambió. Bueno, mi mamá se volvió mucho más feliz porque él me trataba a mí como si yo fuera su hija. Es la persona que más se merece en este mundo que le llame a mi papá. Porque un papá es esa persona que te cuida, que trabaja todos los días porque tú tengas comida. Aún así, pienso que soy una de las personas más afortunadas de este mundo. It's not United. When I found out I was going to be part of Not United, I exploded inside. I became the happiest person on earth. I feel really thankful to have the honor to represent Finland. When I'm not here anymore and my grandkids are parents already, I want them to be able to tell their kids, you know, there was this girl called Yolene. And she was my grandmother and she did all of this and she did all of that and she changed the world. And it sounds pretty big, but I hate that people have dreams and they don't live them just because they think they can. You need to follow your dreams. You need to do anything it takes to be happy and to live the life that you want to live. You should make that story. That story that everyone is going to talk about.